Hi everybody, this is Jennifer. How are you doing? Today is the kickoff to our latest service course, so I just thought I'd say hello very briefly and welcome everybody. I just checked and we passed the 700 enrollment mark, so I think there were 703 people enrolled as of 3.30 here in Chicago, Illinois. So welcome everybody who's joining us. Um, I also just wanted to spend a couple seconds talking about what this course is about and how it's a little different in case you participated in our past projects. First of all, it again is a MOOC, so a massive open online course. We host it on Canvas Network, so that's the same. Um, the big difference is instead of a 12-week course, this is now a six-week course. And so because of that, um, we're going to be able to keep condense the course. So I know a lot of folks had a um, hard time um, being able to finish the whole course in, um, in that devoting that much time to a 12-week course. And so this one is now six. And the reason we're able to do that is instead of creating a, a lesson from scratch, and again, we're creating open educational resources for adult basic education programs. Instead of us creating our lessons from scratch, what we're going to do is go back and evaluate and revise lessons that have been prepared in prior Designers for Learning cohorts. So we have our resources that have been created on OER Commons um, using a software tool called Open Author. So you'll go on to Open, um, excuse me, you'll go on to OER Commons into our roster of resources and then take those, one of the resources of your choice and um, evaluate it. So when you go through the course, there'll be some materials within module two that will give you some tips and pointers on how to evaluate the resources. And then um, you will make revisions. And the way you do that is you'll remix that resource into a new resource and then make the changes that you feel are appropriate. So there are three modules in the course, three main modules. The first is module one talks about the learner and the context. Module two talks about basic instructional design principles um, using Merrill's first principles of instruction as a basis. And then um, at the conclusion of module two, you will create a lesson map for the lesson as you want to adapt it or revise the, uh, the lesson that you reviewed. And then finally, in, in module three, that's when you actually put virtual pen to paper and make your actual edits and turn in your assignment. And if you can complete the course, um, you have the option or the ability to earn a badge as well as a certificate of recognition for your service in this course. Um, let's think of anything else. I don't have notes. These are all off the top of my head. Let's see what else I can think of that may be of interest um, to those who are just joining. Oh, the big thing, the big difference. In prior MOOCs and our prior two cohorts, we had frequent live sessions. And so those were hard for people to be able to attend, especially now as our reach is getting outside of um, North America. And we have about 30% of the people who join our course are from outside of North America. So we've done away with our, um, pretty much every other week we were doing a live session. And what we're doing now is having one live session and it's a longer one. It's four hours on Saturday, April 15th and all the information is in the course. And we're really running it much more like small breakout groups. So you'll join live using, I believe at this point, um, we'll either be using Adobe Connect or another piece of software, um, online web conferencing tool. And uh, we'll have a, a whole group discussion and then pretty quickly get you into small groups where you can talk about your design project. And that would be pretty exciting and fun, a new addition to the course. So again, mark your calendars for Saturday, April 15th, and check the class for the specific time, so the, the time conversion to your area. I don't want to say the time because then you'll get it in your head, and that's actually, uh, we base everything off of Eastern uh, time here in, the, in North America, which um, obviously is different depending on where you're, you're sitting and where you're listening right now. So again, I want to thank everybody for joining us. If you have any questions, just head to the course, and there's um, a help form as well as an Ask a Subject Matter Expert form. We have seven course facilitators that are in the background monitoring things, uh, looking at the discussion boards, and so you'll see their names pop popping in from time to time, including myself. And uh, so with that, thanks so much. Thanks for joining us, and uh, we'll see you in the course.